RS Geospatial here today. We're going to show you an example of the submeter range pull kit for the Aero product line. So for example, if you want to buy the submeter Aero 100 or the Aero Lite, but you'd like to use it for your range pull, what you'll need to purchase is this kit. <clears throat> and this kit includes a bracket to attach to the Aero 100. And then this will clamp onto the range pole and attach to the bracket holding the Aero 100. You will need this antenna mounting plate to hold the antenna. And then the kit also includes this shorter antenna cable. So first, what we're gonna do is grab an Aero 100 right here. And take your mounting plate like so. Place it on the top like this. And then there's two screws on the back that we're gonna screw down there. And then you can see this little guy right here is a quick release. This is where the range pole will go. You'll tighten the range pole on like that. And then once this is on the range pole, you can grab this and it'll lock in like so. And then you can actually leave this on the range pole and then just pop this off and take the Aero 100 off so that the Aero 100 can be stored when you're traveling or have to hop back in the car to go to your next location. The other component that we need to do is we need to take the antenna that came with our Aero 100 kit and we need to remove the screws here. So basically there's a magnetic plate on the bottom of this antenna and it's held down with these four screws which we can then use these screws to mount the antenna onto the metal antenna mounting plate. And there's a groove right here that's cut out that will line up with the mount there for the antenna. So we just have to line up our full four holes here and hold on to this plate in case you ever want to uh, put it back on so that you can mount your antenna, uh, say on the top of your car or uh, tractor or whatever other vehicle you may want to use it with. Okay, and now you can see here's the threads to go on top of the range pole. And this is where you can slide up the antenna cable and attach there, and then attach the other end of the cable to the, the Aero 100 or the Aero Light on top of your range pole. And now you're able to use your submeter equipment with your range pole and perhaps a bipod or a tripod. So, Give us a call or email us for more information and uh, visit our website at resourcesupplyllc.com. Thanks.